On a picture-perfect day, at East Greta Junction, a 1915 locomotive is carefully eased into position. Number 18 is inspected and planned works discussed by the team. Maybe even give the straps here a bit of a clean up because we leave all that oily residue and we try to move it. Steam locos have many connected parts and vital fittings. All require careful attention. The way we work is that every bolt has to go back in the same hole it came from. Beauty. And the nuts go on the same threads that they came off of in case the threads are stretched and they have to go on the same way that they came off. Spring and rail clearances are checked. The rear two driving axles, these have underslung springs, which means that they're hanging under the axle. These are quite close to the rail, so the clearance under here to the rail is um, obviously above the minimum, but it's quite close. A clever compensating system improves ride quality on uneven track. The main driving wheels are compensated, so that, that, that means that they share the load. This is a compensating lever. As the locomotive wheels go up and down with an uneven track, this compensating beam will seesaw like that and allow one wheel to go up and allow the other wheel to go down. To learn more about this important project to preserve working railway history and to help light the fire once more in number 18, please visit 10classlocos.com.au.